We went to this cute salad in Omboas and have the most authentic French lunch. We had tuna salad, sausages, and of course, a lot of bread. And I almost got diabetes because of this. We went straight forward to Chateau de Chenonceau. It is a castle with a mixture of Gothic and Renaissance, Diana and Catherine, love and revenge. It was so beautiful, chill, and peaceful that somehow made impatient people like me slow down to get to enjoy the present moment and the warm bath of sunshine. We stayed in tours the first night, and the railway station here looks so nice and fancy. It's really hard to imagine the fact that living in a random style of architecture is as normal as having croissants every day, chilling at the outdoor area in the Bristol after work, and having October sunset at 7pm in France. serve as a hunting lot for François the First. There are lots of armories storing weapons. Contrary to what men think of, it is a castle for hunters, a castle for men. The most interesting and magnificent design of Chateau de Chambourg is its open double spiral staircase. While both staircases lead people to the same destination, you're never going to see anyone taking a different path to reach the very end of a way. After having Chinese food for lunch, we headed to Cathédrale de Chartres. The cathedral is made of the elements of Gothic spire with Roman basements. The 12 pieces of stained glass on the exterior represent the 12 apostles of Jesus. You can feel the divinity and solemnity the moment you step into Cathédrale de Chartres. 